Hello and welcome back to Precon Decon, the video series where I deconstruct the pre-constructed decks of Magic the Gathering's history. Uh, right, here we are at Season 7 and I'm going to do a quick little introduction video to explain what we've got coming up in the next few videos. And uh, for some of you, this has been a day long coming. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me about this over the various months that I've been doing the Precon Decon project. And we are now finally here. It's finally happening. We're finally going to talk about dual decks, which in my opinion, these are the crown jewel of pre-constructed uh, products, uh, you know, old school 60 card uh, pre-constructed decks. And, you know, some newer players uh, to the hobby might not know what dual decks are, which I think is, you know, very reasonable. Like, they've not been made uh, for a few years at this point. So I thought we'd do this quick little video where we just explain what dual decks are, um, just so we can then launch into them and start talking about them. So, a dual deck came in a box very similar to this. Um, it basically comes with two 60 card decks um, and it's kind of um, styled as, you know, like two rival factions fighting against each other. So the idea is you'd pick this up, maybe split with a friend, you know, each take a deck each. And, you know, the decks are essentially kind of meant to be balanced against one another. And, you know, ideally you do like, you know, like a best of three, see who wins or like play a game each, swap over, have a bunch of fun that way. And, uh, you know, these were loaded like with a bunch of really cool cards, um, usually very thematic to, you know, to the to the you know the theme of the uh, of the particular faction that is represented in the deck, and they were they were honestly they were pretty good. Uh, most of the time, they're pretty good value for money in terms of like contents and I say just like the actual kind of play experience which um yeah like we saw in the clash packs it's uh, you know it's a two-player set so it's ideal to pick up with a friend you know maybe someone who's like new to magic or you know like very casually involved with it and you know split these decks and play them against each other and have like kind of a good sort of reasonably balanced time so as i was saying like dual decks are arranged so it's like two factions against each other so it could be creature types like the very first one which is elves and goblins um it could be planeswalkers against each other so like jace versus chandra or it might be something looser it might be like a theme uh like this one uh which was divine and demonic um and they sort of like there's not uh, it originally started off as, as a bit of a pattern, like it would do, um, like a you know, like creature type or theme, and then a planeswalk one, and they'd sort of do that pattern. They would do one first one, then the other, and then back, uh, back that way. Um, that sort of broke down in the last like few years of the project. It very quickly became like just faction stuff. But um, rather than planeswalkers versus planeswalkers, but um, it was really interesting. The planeswalkers ones used to um, used to be sort of connected to the ongoing canon storyline. There used to be like reasons why the planeswalk ones was released, and it used to be you know to highlight an upcoming set or something like that. And um, it was really interesting actually seeing um, as going into the the later planeswalkers, uh, the uh, the later dual decks, is that they would be used as a way to kind of like preview cards for upcoming sets, which was quite interesting. And we'll definitely cover those when we get to them. So in terms of like what was in dual decks, uh, for the most part it was, they weren't limited to a particular set or anything, it wasn't like a normal pre-con where it would say like, oh this one was, was released around, say like the Elves and Goblins one was released around uh, Lorwyn times, but like it wasn't exclusive using cards from Lorwyn, like the Elves one uses um, obviously a lot of stuff from Lorwyn, but also uses stuff from Onslaught, it uses other random cards from like uh, different sets and stuff, um, and for the most part it was the uh, first time like a lot of these cards um, got reprinted in kind of an updated frame which was actually kind of I, I would say like a big um, appeal of the set to kind of get old cards in new frames or even sometimes with updated artwork and also um, you could get some really really spicy reprints in these dual decks um, you know like Demonic Tutor is like a really big one we got Swords to Plowshares in Elspeth versus Tezzeret so this I think was like a really big draw in terms of like because it like there needs to be a reason for people to buy these right and like you know, just having like elves and goblins is enough. You need something to like really draw in, uh, draw in the crowd. And you know, some of these decks have like some really, really excellent um, reprints, like with new art and stuff, which is like a big draw. So yeah, again, we'll point those out when we get to them. But like that's kind of the thing in dual decks, sixty card decks around a theme. You know, very meant to be very, very casual, like no formats, whatever. Very similar, you know, to the the get decked videos that have been put together. Like that kind of th um, theme. You know, they they follow some sort of like, strategy or theme or something like that and yeah it's meant to be for very these uh these very fun casual games i say in a set that you would split with 
split with a friend and um, you know play games with each other. I got into the habit. This was like kind of the last pre-constructed pod that I was buying really regularly, um, and I used to most of the pi- most of the time buy two of each one uh, to double up on a lot of the good cards. Um, so yeah, that was that was where a lot of my uh, money was going into uh, Magic Gathering as I, as I was sort of phasing out the hobby. Um, anyway, so the dual decks ran for about eleven years. And on average, they did two of these a year. So we've got 22 of these to look at. Uh, and with two de- two decks each, that means 44 decks in total. Um, so yeah, we've got a whole bunch of content coming up. I hope you stick around and enjoy it all. And I'm really excited to see what people's comments on these decks, uh, decks are coming up. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to do like one deck per video. Um, so it will be 44 videos. Um, I was toying with the idea of doing reviewing the whole project in a single video but I think that would make the video like kind of long and if I'm being honest I would kind of want to split it anyway to get two videos so it's double the amount of views which is very mercenary of me but like got to do what you got to do I suppose um but yeah I'm really really looking forward to like looking at all these dual decks um I have some really great memories of them I think they're all for the most part like really really good um and I'm really looking forward to what um your like feedback and comments and opinions on them is going to be so, uh, without any hesitation, let's let's get started and start looking at those dual decks. So the very first one is going to be uh, Elves versus Goblins. So the Elves one will be out um, tomorrow after this video. Uh, so definitely take a look at that. And um, yeah, I hope you join me for this uh, for this journey, the last big journey I think of of the channel as we start looking into um, the dual decks. So hope you join me for that. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, and listening, and have a great day.